You know, I have a tendency to have a kind of a quite extreme approach to most things in life um, if you haven't noticed it yet. For example, my diet. Um, it seems to be like all or nothing. It's like I go from eating like crap food takeaways, eating out in restaurants, to deciding that I'm gonna live a healthy life and then I, you know, buy the house full of healthy food and eat nothing but healthy food where like everything is calculated to the, you know, to the, down to every little calories and nutrients and everything you can ever imagine. You see, when I usually decide to do something, I kind of go very, very hardcore on whether it's, you know, exercise, diet. I think I have a longer, uh, Tension span than most people do when I do these things because I dig into something and you know I dig in deep and then I go hardcore for months at a time but then I go from one extreme to the other you know I go from one end of the scale to the other end of the scale which is uh, as frustrating it is and it feels at the time I do believe in a kind of quirky way it all balances itself out in the end of the end of the day or at least that's what I hope anyway I haven't been eating good good food for the past few days so I'm gonna make some home cooked food I'm gonna make a bolognese sauce but instead of the pasta we're gonna use the corset um, so yeah some home cooked food would be a good idea once in a while. she ran away with another man, she told me I would never understand. It makes her feel like a woman again. I always love her to the bitter end. The bread is stale, all I got is tin of beans. Got around to fix that goddamn leak. The mailbox is filled to the brim. The unpaid bill sure makes it look so grim. But I don't mind about it all so much. Even though life's looking kind of rough. There's only one thing that really gets to me. Broken out of coffee ain't a good place to be Took the dog and left me with the cat. Okay, don't worry, I'm not gonna turn into my channel into cooking channel or anything like that. But once in a while I do cook and as it is daily vlog I will include some of those bits in. But um, having said that, I do like cooking. And so I thought I'd give you a couple of quick tips here. Um, as you saw me mince the garlic there, um, I prefer to do it that way. To the normal crushers are really quick and handy, but I don't think they're the best for the flavor. That way, when you chop it and then you put the salt into it and crush it with the salt, um, I think it'll preserve a lot, a lot more of the juices and then you get a lot more flavor out of it. The other thing is minced meat. When you cook it, when you put it in a pan, put it in a hot pan and leave it. Like just flatten it and leave it and let it cook. Don't be messing around with it all the time. Like let it cook. Um, because you want, because the, what happens is, is nine out of ten times that the liquids come out of it, and you want them to cook back into it. Uh, let that happen before you start messing around, with it because otherwise you're just boiling the mince. Uh, what you want to do is all that liquid go back into it, then brown it a little bit. And what I'm making is just a, a version of bolognese. Uh, and, and what I do is I then put it with a passata. Uh, this stuff, which is just. 
uh, crushed tomatoes. Um, this one's actually with a crushed tomato with a garlic and herbs. I didn't even realize that they were that, but they'll do absolutely fine. And um, once the mince is browned, I put it in the pot and I let it cook for minimum one hour, preferably two hours, uh, because. Minced beef, um, it's like a bit like stew meat, that it, 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 it's kind of a little bit hard. But if you let it cook, if you take your time and let it slow cook, really, really slow, low heat, for like, you know, two hours, it becomes so much more... It just melts in your mouth after that. Uh, it really, it's worth the effort. And the good thing is that once you have everything in a pan, you can just leave it for a couple of hours. And it takes care of itself. So there's my couple of tips for today. Anyway, back to the Yesterday got a letter from the court Seems it's filing up for a divorce This house I built with my bare own hand On my dear old grandfather's land She wants to sell it and move out of town but I think I'd rather burn it to the ground But I don't mind about it all so much Even though life's looking kind of rough There's only one thing that really gets to me Being broken out of coffee ain't a good place to be That's it. Now let it cook for a few hours on a very very low heat there you go simple as that and that gives me time to go back to work